welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to make a simple video on how to cut pencil skirts with draping so the first thing we are going to achieve is how to cut our pencil skirts and we are also going to achieve how to drape on our pencil skirts so what are the basic measurements required our waist measurements, hip measurements and our skirt length our waist measurements is 32 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have say our hip is 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10 0.5 our skirt length is 24 24 plus 2 for our sewing allowance we have 26 inches so these are the basic measurements required don't forget to join us on facebook 3 designs on instagram 3 designs and also visit our website all the details are going to be in the description box below and we are going to be starting first with pattern drafting and with me here i have my pattern paper now one thing about this pattern paper is is about 60 inches long about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle now whenever you want to cut dresses that requires long length i recommend this pattern paper and this pattern paper is available at our store length what we are going to have is about 26 inches i'm going to make use of this white pattern paper which is also available at our store all the details are going to be in the description box and don't forget to join us for training or i'm going to put down the link below to go ahead and mark our basic measurements so we have our waist to hip nine inches Waist to upper hip, 6 inches. Waist to our knee, we have 17 inches. And we have our skirt length. So I'll go ahead and mark the lines. Waist to upper hip, 6 inches. Lower hip, 9 inches. Our knee length, 17 inches. And we mark our skirt length. So I'll go ahead with my pattern master which is available at our store and I will connect the lines together. With that, I will go ahead and mark my dart measurement which is 4 inches. I'll mark my dart. Now the essence of the upper hip is to enable you know where your dart will get up to. So I've marked 4 inches. I will go ahead and connect the lines together. Now on my waistline, I will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On my waistline, I will connect it to my upper hip. Now I will go ahead and mark my waist measurement which is 10 inches. I'll mark my hip measurement on my lower hip, which is 11 inches. Now, because what we want to achieve is a pencil skirt, we are going to go ahead and deduct 2 inches or 1 and a half. It totally depends on how pencil you want the effect to be. So, I will deduct 2 inches. I will go ahead and mark it on my skirt length. So this is what we have. I'll go in with my pattern master and connect my waist to it. And I'll connect the if to my skirt length. So this is what we are going to have for the front block. So I'll go ahead and cut this out cutting it out this is what we are going to have so you can see our dart line and this is the effect of our pencil skirt so we'll go ahead and set this aside so we have 
our basic lines now for the back block we are going to go ahead and mark two inches for our zip allowance we we'll mark two inches and we go ahead and connect the lines together so this is where we have our zip allowance now we we'll go ahead and mark uh, that measurement which is four inches so you start marking your dart measurement from your zip line on our upper hip we go ahead and mark four inches we connect the lines together on our waistline we go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect the lines together we go ahead and mark our waist measurement which is 10 inches mark our hip measurement now the same inches you deduct for the front block is what you are going to maintain also for the back block so we took away two inches we are also going to do the same for the back block go in with our pattern master connect the waist to hip and hip to the gown skirt length basically what i do because your zip doesn't get to this lower part your zip doesn't extend like around the hip area so we really don't need this excess at this point so i will go ahead and deduct this excess at the lower part note that this is optional it depends on you so i just went in so that i won't have any puffy effects at the back block so i'll go ahead and cut this out what we are going to have this is the front block and this is the back block so i'm going to go ahead and transfer this to the fabric to be using this african fabric and african prints are available both in wholesale and in retail prices i'm going to go ahead and put down the link below now what i want to achieve is i want this line to fall at the midpoint okay when you're working with african prints that has pattern it's very necessary for you to follow the pattern to give you a particular design so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two into two i will go ahead and place my front block this way and i'll cut this out cutting it out this is what we have so you can see that we followed this print so we'll go ahead and set the front block aside i folded my fabric into two i will go ahead and place my back block on it I will go ahead and cut this out. out for the back block we are going to have two pieces because we are going to fix in our zip I will go ahead and notch this upper part so that we can indicate where we want to fix in our zip for you to know how many inches required for your draping it depends on how many inches you want so let's say i want about nine inches for my draping i'm going to go ahead and multiply that by two and if you want six inches for your draping that is just want it to fall like six inches you go ahead and multiply that by two so for me i want about eight inches i'm going to multiply that by two i have 16 and i added two inches for my sewing allowance which is 18 because i'm basically going to end this side of it and i will also end this other side before i start draping okay and for the length of your draping because the draping is going to fall after your skirt you are going to make use of your skirt measurements and then you extend the length for the draping now what i simply mean by that is this by that is this our skirt length is 24 inches 
Now, make sure that the length of your draping is beyond that. It is more than 24 inches. Of course, your draping is not going to start from your waistline, but your draping length should be longer than your skirt so that it can fall. So the number of inches you want determines how long you want it to be you are going to understand that better when we start sewing so this is the length i'm going to be using for my drapings and for the width just multiply what you have by two so i've gone ahead to cut out my lining i'm going to use my lining to turn the skirt so after turning it i'll show you guys what it looks like I've gone ahead to turn it with lining this is the front block and for the back block I also turned it with lining fixing my zip and I left about seven inches for my slits so this is what we have now for us to achieve a draping I will go ahead and place this piece on it and I'll pleat it this way. So this is what, so this is what we have. You can see it we went ahead to pleat this extra piece on the front so we we'll place our back block this way making use of our measurements our waist measurements we we'll go ahead and stitch it our hip measurements and we we'll stitch it all the way so after stitching this i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys, you can see what our pencil skirts with drapings look like. You can see the draping effect and this is how it drops on one side. And this is what our pencil skirts with drapings looks like. So thanks so much for watching. Kindly tell us what top you will rock with this pencil skirt with drapings. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.